Hey loves, Jay here with another monthly forecast for June 2023 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to hop right into some divine messages for you. And in tapping into your energy, Taurus, I was feeling a sense of adventure for you this month, okay? And the, the word, the phrase that I saw with that was, go for it, okay? So if you're thinking twice about something, Spirit is saying, just go for it, okay? That adventure can show up for you in so many different ways. So whatever it is that you have, have been wanting to do, um, wanting to bring some joy and excitement to your life, whatever that is, that could that could be starting a new business, a new career, um, that could be going on vacation, traveling um, somewhere where you've never been before. So um, go for it, okay, is your message for in the month of June, your spirit message, all right? So we pulled the uh, acceptance card as well as the relationship card here for you. Let's see what else is coming out for you here, Taurus. So working on your sacral this month, your heart chakra, or two of the chakras that I would recommend. We'll also pull one uh, card in the advice portion too to let you know what you can uh, focus on this month. So we have the acceptance card here also connected to that sacral energy of, you know, of letting go of things that you cannot control. Seeing yourself and others through the eyes of your angels, right? We are all made from the same likeness. We are very similar with different circumstances, um, but we are all love beings. So being able to see through circumstances and flaws when it comes to yourself, when it comes to other people, and being just being in that place of surrendering and, and feeling from a, a place of unconditional love is, uh, is a way of being in acceptance, okay? You inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential when you are in a place of acceptance because you have no attachments to who they are and how they show up, okay? Um, so I do feel like that there is a lot of people around you or there is a lot of energy around you. There could be a lot of your, you know, guides and angels that are around you as well that are watching over you or protecting you, but I feel like they're uplifting you to another level. But accepting acceptance is something to practice this month. Then we have the relationship card connected to the heart chakra energy, where it's, it's saying that your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. So that's a very important note to note, okay? To attract, heal, or a balance of relationship, snuggle more closely with your loving, with your loving creator, okay? Because your creator, God, creator, source, spirit, Whatever it is that you call the higher being, if you believe in a higher being, is flows through everyone. Okay, there are aspects of, <clears throat> excuse me, there are aspects of yourself that you may see, loving aspects of yourself that you may see in other people. So um, connect with that energy as well. Okay, I don't even know if this is making sense. I maybe it makes sense to you. Sometimes I'm speaking, I'm channeling energy and messages, and it's. Sometimes it doesn't make sense until I rewatch it. So hopefully this makes sense to you. <laughs> As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper, okay? So remember that relationship with self is most important. So if there is some sort of adventure that you want to take this month, go for it, okay? We also have the trustworthy guidance card as well, connected to the heart chakra energy, where this says, You've received a wonderful you've received wonderful ideas as an answer to your prayers. So whatever this idea is, is to go for it. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way, which I've said that there are a lot of light beings around you that are guiding you in the right direction right direction so you can trust that the guidance is real and it's for you. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea, okay? So basically, pray about it, okay? <laughs> Let's pull some overall energy for you, Taurus, to see what is coming up for the month of June for you. All right, what energies will Taurus be in this month, okay? Okay. We have the King of Fire here. Oh, 
Okay. So we have we have the King of Fire here as your overall energy. So this is um, this energy that you're exuding this month, this very fiery energy of feeling motivated to do something. Go out there and get it. Go for it, right? Feeling very idealistic. So you're very focused on what your ideas, you know, how they can come to fruition as well. You're in the place of, you'll be in a place of feeling ambitious. So you're, I feel like there's energy of you conquering the world this month too and being very charismatic throughout the process. So charisma is, your um that the energy your your action this month is be to be charismatic with everything that you do like i feel like there's um like a there's just a, a fire that is sparked in you this month here taurus so this month is about you focus okay focusing focus 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 okay is the most important thing so whatever this is that you're um that spirit is saying to go for you be focused on that okay also communicate with vision and it's be a leader this month and, and lead with enthusiasm and charisma. Okay. So love what you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Love it. Okay. And um, this month you could be receiving some advice from someone who is um, definitely creative or this is that creative spark. Um, that you are experiencing this month as you're moving into this energy of charisma and really trusting the guidance that is coming through for you so that you can really go after what, whatever this is that you're wanting to go after. Then we have the 10 of fire. So more passionate energy here with that 10. So this is saying with that some of you have just been working too much and this is why this is why it's time for you to treat yourself <laughs> this is what i'm feeling here okay so it's time for you to treat yourself to some some sort of adventure um also be in acceptance with uh for help um with help okay accept help is what i'm trying to say um, from other people. You don't have to go at this alone. Go at life alone. You don't have to take care of the, all the, the house responsibilities or be the sole provider. Um, this is a message to find some sort of balance in your life right now because some of you are, some of you could be dealing with or this could be coming up for you, stress-related, um, stress-related um, health issues, okay? We don't want that. I don't want that for you guys. So um, this is a time to just really focus on the guidance that is being provided for you. We have the six of earth energy here as your overall energy as well. There may be some gifts coming in for you this month, possibly when it comes to money. Maybe this could also be a promotion as well. But there is a level of um, elevating your money this month as well. Okay. Um, and I feel like it is based off of your efforts. So again, whether that is a promotion or you getting a new job, you're you know, receiving a raise or something like that, there is um, a, rec a, um, a recognition for your efforts that you have been putting in here. So this is also saying that there could be you know, new career opportunities as well. Um, some of you may be thinking of seeking um, some financial assistance, like taking out a loan, or maybe you are you know, needing to pay down debts but I do feel whatever this is, there is a, a financial gain that is coming in for you this month. Let's um, pull some clarifying cards to uh, for each of these overall energies, okay? So we're going to start with the, that King of Fire energy. Pull some mess messages for this King of Fire. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to put these back. Because I'm not feeling that intuitively. Let's take this. All right. So we have the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles here. Wow. Wow. Okay. So whatever this idea that you have that you are wanting to materialize, this is the opportunity for it, that to happen. This is why Spirit is saying to go for it. So if you've been procrastinating on something and you have been really wanting to do something, take some sort of adventure or, you know, just whatever this is, go for it now because this is, this is like the, the, um, the opportunity to really seize the moment and really like, you know, 
reach your peak and, and happiness and charisma. So we have the magician here, the magician as well as that Nine of Pentacles energy here. So we have um, Earth energy here as well as Aries. So I'm feeling like more, this is more, um, well, this is Mercury energy here. Um, but I'm feeling just more charisma, more enthusiasm, more of intensity, more passion, more fire here for you. Okay, so everything that you um, everything that you need, you already have. So don't put this off anymore because you feel like you need one more thing in order to complete it, in order to move forward. So whatever this is, you already have everything. So stop making excuses and just go for it. Okay. So uh, you're, you'll be in a place of creating whatever this is and feeling motivated to create whatever this is. This is a time again for you to focus this month, focus on what it is that you're trying to bring to fruition here. And again, if you need to seek some advice from someone, a family friend or a professional, then do so. If you need some sort of, mo you need to be motivated this month, Taurus, because maybe there is an underlying fear of like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll succeed. I'm not sure if it's the right idea. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Get out of your head, Taurus, and do it, okay? So this is a month of magic and manifestation for you. All right. We, uh, um, again, this energy of this Nine of Pentacles is this wealth. So it makes me feel like some of you are thinking about some sort of career move here when it comes to adventure. Could be uh, self-employment. You have an idea that you want to bring to life and you want that to be a, a business. Uh, you, you Maybe you present a business proposal to someone, to a family friend or a professional. Um, maybe there's some sort of big meeting on the line for some of you, or there's there's just something that is waiting in the wings for you to just grab a hold onto it and just move forward with it, okay? So whatever this idea is, it will bring you financial gains. It will bring you success. It will bring you the material security that you have been seeking as well, okay? And as well as that independence, because I'm feeling like some of you need some freedom from something, okay? Freedom from um, a job, freedom from a relationship, but whatever this adventure is, is the way to go, okay? So if you've been looking for an answer for that, the answer is yes, go for it, okay? Let's see why this Ten of Fire energy is here. Because some of you guys have been working way too much and not focused on yourself. Um, it could have some um, health concerns that could be coming up for you guys. All right. Some of you have been feeling out of balance because you are being pulled in too many directions. We have the Devil, the Two of Swords, and the Sun energy here. So some of you are feeling restricted. I'm feeling this on a very deep spiritual level where some of you are feeling stuck. Some of you are in a place of just coexisting in a situation. This could be coexisting in a job, coexisting in a relationship, being very comfortable with where you are financially or just feeling like you're stuck financially and feeling like it doesn't matter what, what you do, what efforts that you put in, that nothing is going to change for you. But, you know, this is definitely causing some health issues for some of you here okay so um make sure you're not in a place of um manipulating okay self manipulate self manipulation okay or being in this place where you're so stressed that you are uh, addicted to things okay you're trying to just um what's the mask you're trying to to mask the stress that you're feeling um, and maybe for some of you, this addiction could also be causing health issues for you as well. But making sure that you are not masking um, your stress and your fears and your stagnation with an addiction. Okay, so that's very important. It is time for you to make a decision to change your life here, Taurus. You're tired of being stuck. I know you are. I feel that in your energy very strong. You're ready to make a decision to just live your best life. Okay, regardless of who is in it or not, you want to be free. You want to, you have desires that you want to be fulfilled and you want to, you know, live those out. And by all means, you should, um, with respect to, you know, a partner, um, if you are, in, you know, in a partnership with someone. Um, so that is very important to just be able to um, sort of um, be able to express what it is. 
um, that idealism, okay, is, is very important because some of you are in a place of feeling emotionally balked, feeling overloaded, um, feeling insecure, indecisive about things just because you're not in a place of clarity right now. You're in mental anguish here with this Two of Swords energy. And then that Sun energy is saying that well, all you want to do is to be happy, <laughs> is what I feel here, is, is, is to be happy, be confident, feel enlightened. And I feel like that energy is coming in for you as you exude this King of Fire energy here. So let's see why this Six of Earth energy is here for you, Taurus. Um, I do feel there could be some traveling also coming up for you. So we have the Empress, bottom of the deck. Um, I have the Queen of Swords and, the, and I also have the Queen of Wands, okay? That's beautiful, that Queen energy here. We're talking about all the Queens, okay? Almost all the Queens. We're talking about the Empress, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Wands energy here with the, when it comes to the Six of Earth. So I really feel like you're... Um, there could be a portion of you or this this other side of you, you coming out of this, you know, doom and gloom for some of you, this stagnation that on the other side of that is, you know, balance, you finding stability, um, you're focused on taking care of yourself. So self-care is a self-care and self-love is most important for you this month as well. But really tapping into that create creativity, that fertility, um, you know, that fertility energy. So whether some of you are, um, going to be conceiving or um, or you're already expecting a child or this could just be you bringing something to life bringing this adventure to life it's not just in your head you're actually physically doing this here so this month is about you um, about love okay loving what you do as well here and this queen of swords energy i feel like um there's this um if some of you some of you have a mother or just women in your life. This could also be males, but I'm picking up this the, the feminine energy here, a female energy here with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Someone who's very truthful would just kind of tell it like it is. I feel like someone has been telling you something for a very long time. Like, you need to do this. But I feel like what you need to do, what they've been telling you is you need to take care of yourself, okay? all across the board, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, you need to take care of yourself. And I feel like you've been hearing that. And I feel like this month is that aha moment where you realize, I really do need to take care of myself. Okay, I need to feel a sense of sexy, sexiness. And now I want to feel strong physically and mentally as well. I want to exude passion here. I want to showcase that funny side, that confident side, but I feel like it's been so just lie in dormant it's been stuck within me because i've just been in this emotional blockage okay this physical blockage spiritual blockage so many blockages the Im imbalance is the imbalance is just going on with some of you here taurus but on the other side of that there is a lot of abundance that is on the way for you go for it okay i'm going to keep saying that go for it, whatever this adventure is okay so let's see where you're headed this month and what's coming towards you where you headed this month. You're headed this month. The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's where you're headed. Let's see what's coming towards you. Meditate and contemplate is where you're, that's what's coming towards you, okay? So basically Spirit is saying, we're going to have to sit you down at some point. <laughs> you're going to have to sit down and figure this out. So where you're headed is um, a tough cycle is coming to a close for you, okay? Tough cycle is approaching and this is what's coming towards you. Meditate and contemplate. So um, lots of beautiful things. And I feel like with the meditation and contemplation is what helps this cycle end. Okay. Let's see. Get some more messages for you around uh, where you're headed. The hangman and the four of wands energy here. <clears throat> So 
you're in a you're going to you're headed towards self improvement, and I do feel like that comes because of what's coming towards you is you taking care of yourself, the self love and the self care, really being a number one priority in your life. I feel like you've been making sacrifices for people, you've been making sacrifices for yourself, for your family, and I just do feel like this is a a, a time where you're going to. Um, really take yourself into consideration here. Some of you have been in limbo here with the hangman energy here or uncertain about things or just feeling like you're just here, just hovering somewhere, like coexisting in something, okay? But I do feel like there is, with this end of a tough cycle approaches, it's because you're in a place of spiritual enlightenment here. And I feel like you've surrendered to the process as well. And you're sort of just taking a step back and seeing the big picture, seeing things for, you know, how they are, seeing things from different angles. You're not just in your space that you're just you're able to develop perspective um, and perception as well. So you're really creating this in, uh, this um, new way of living. OK. Um, but there is uh, there is a, a level of prosperity that is coming in for you as you are uncovering this spiritual enlightenment um, phase, as you're um, approaching this cycle. On the other side of this is, you know, prosperity and abundance for you of building and creating a new foundation with whatever this adventure is that you are going to be um, undertaking. Okay, so this is all about you becoming stable and building happiness in your life, happiness within yourself, happiness within your family, within your career, within your relationships. Um, there could also be an energy of um, some of you are could be relocating maybe where you are right now. It's tough financially. Maybe it's very expensive. You're thinking about relocating somewhere where the cost of living is a lot cheaper than where you are currently. So that is also a thing. Um, and some of you are just stepping into a new romantic relationship as well. Okay, so there are so many things that could be unfolding, but it does feel like it's um, it's everything is on the up and up as you're going through this enlightenment phase. And let me just say, when we go through spiritual um, spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment phases, things don't feel all peaches and cream and unicorns and rainbows. Like it's work. Okay, so it's when you feel this feeling of depress, depression and anxiety and you just feel very low, you feel stuck, it is the universe's way of saying something isn't right. Something isn't authentically sitting right in your core, so we have to fix this. This is why we get into these modes of depression and things like that. So keeping that in mind and not to be hard on yourself that you're just a depressed person, this is spirit trying to open to you up to live your full authentic self, okay? So let's pull some cards around this, um, what's coming towards you this month. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Some of you have been working hard at in life in general, and you feel like your success has been very delayed, okay? But that is about to change for you here, Taurus. Um, Seven of Pentacles and then that Ten of Wands energy. Um, there is, again, this is a new start. Something is ending, and there's something that is beginning here for you, okay? This is a growing period, a gestation. You've been in a gestation period, okay? Um Although you were feeling stuck, it is still a moment. It's still a, a phase of growth here. And some of you have this, have not seen the clear picture. This is why that, that hangman showed up where now you're in the place of developing perspective is what's where you're headed. And to be able to see things from a different light, a different perspective, different angles. So now you're, you're developing that as you have gone through this phase of spiritual enlightenment and you're coming out of that here. So know that you're going to persevere as well. Um, this is just a temporary, um, it's, this is temporary difficulties for you right now. Okay. So that's, um, that's, it's temporary. <laughs> Let me just leave it at that. I was going to say it's not, it isn't permanent, but it, you know, that would be redundant. It's temporary, okay? So your hard work is going to be paying off. That's what's definitely coming towards you as well, okay? Um, I feel like you're you're going to feel a sense of, you know, you're going to continue to feel, or some of you, this may be coming up for you, of feeling like you're burned out. You're burned out and overwhelmed with things. You've lost focus in this place of stagnation. Um, 
So you either coming out of that or some of you are going uh, going into that. So it can show up in different ways for you. But I do feel at the end of the day, spirit is saying to keep going because this is a phase for you. It is temporary and everything is going to change for you. OK, so let's see. Let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice for you, Taurus. Presence is your card and it's connected to the number 44. So if you guys are seeing the number 44, you're seeing 4444 or 444, leave a message down in the comment box below. Let me know what that number has meant to you. How are you feeling? What are you thinking when you see this number? Um, what have you researched on this number? Okay, so 44 is a big number as well. So this is about, um, Spirit is saying this month that you need to be aware, okay? bring awareness to what is going on around you. Also, I feel like this awareness comes into play the, of the signs and messages that are showing up for you that you may have looked over. You've, you've glazed over them because you have been so stuck in your stuff, okay? So Spirit is saying to pay attention to the things that are around you, okay? Not forcing anything, but I do feel like it's more of a synchronistic thing. And I feel like numbers are going to be a big thing for you as well this month. Or you have already been seeing numbers, but pay attention to if you do see 44 or, you know, the combination of numbers here. Be, um, some of you have been with your head in the clouds because you're just stuck in, <laughs> you're stuck in this doom and gloom energy of, you know, of not enoughness, of being the victim of self-pity, of health concerns, just sort of just in your stuff, you know. Get back to reality. Get back to exploring the things that are around you, connecting to nature, meditating, contemplating on things. And the contemplation thing, I'm going to just, you know, some of you don't need to contemplate on, on things from the past or you don't need to contemplate on things from the past, okay? Any of you, because if you've already been in this place of sort of self-imprisonment, you definitely don't want to continue going into a downward spiral, okay? So meditation is going to be a big thing for you. And staying present and connected this month is most important, is your advice for this month. So stay aware, be attentive, um, make sure that you're in re reality, that you're staying present in the moment. Really enjoy the moment that you're in. Enjoy this adventure that you're going to be embarking upon. Really engulf yourself, engulf your energy in whatever this is because it is something for you stay connected this month and that connection comes with meditation all right and let's see the last thing here let's see what's happening in your near future what's coming up for you in your near future here taurus We have the Queen of Air, the Nine of Air. A lot of thoughts, emotions are coming up in your near future. Thoughts and emotions. That Queen of Air energy here. Okay, so we're talking about a Libra, a Libra Gemini, or a um, an Aquarius energy here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy here as well. So. This is saying what's coming up is you building independence. And that came up somewhere at this point. Oh, with a nine of pentacles energy here of that independence. Okay. So being self-reliant. Okay. Also gaining experiences in life. Some of you have just, like we've said already, have been stuck in this energy and it's time for you to go out and experience life. Be realistic. We just said that, right? Staying in reality, being realistic, staying present. Okay. Okay. Um, I just I, I do feel like there is a sense of you um, seeing a clear vision. OK, you, I feel like they're the clouds is part this month for you and you see clearly and making sure that you're staying objective as well when it comes to whatever decisions that you need to make in your life. OK, because right now you're going to be you're going to be clearing away all that no longer serves you. And this is part of that spiritual enlightenment phase. OK, and make sure that you're seeing humor in um, situations that may arise. OK, that you're not taking things personally, 
okay stay present okay you don't need any more downward spirals okay here Taurus so making sure that you you're you're using humor in situations here um, some of you have been in this energy of sort of expecting the worst because for some of you the worst has happened to some of you okay but that is also self-fulfilling it's self-fulfilling prophecy so how can you change that how can you change what you think about okay it's easier said than done but it can be done it takes intention it takes time it takes you wanting to be happy here Taurus okay because some of you have been up sleepless nights thinking about so many things and how you would like your life to be to be and I feel like you do have a clear vision but I feel like you don't know where to start meditation is going to help with that staying present is going to is going to help with that being aware being connected okay being attentive as well so make sure you don't allow anything, any circumstances, anyone to take away that tender heart that you have, okay? Because I feel like this queen of water energy is that something that you are you are embodying right now. Is this very, you're very sensitive is what I'm feeling. You're very um, sensitive to people around you, to situations. A lot of things that are going on in the world are impacting you as well. Stay patient and loving to yourself, and loving to those that are around you, loving to those that are also supporting you through this process as well. Things are going to change, okay? It feels like some of you are in this vortex, okay? So create what you want to put in this vortex. I think, um, interesting enough, uh, the Queen of Water is here, and I, a couple months ago, or a few months ago, the Pisces reading was about Pisces being in a vortex and being very clear and... Um, being very clear about what they want to put into the vortex, okay? So if you feel like you've been swallowed up by a, a, a deep, dark vortex, change that, okay? You can change that here, Taurus. It does take time. It takes support, but it takes the will and the effort to be able to change that, okay? I feel like as you are going through this spiritual enlightenment phase, there is going to be your relationships are going to be um, developing to a new level because you're developing yourself to a new level here you're elevating to a new level so then you begin to attract that kind of energy into your life here okay so trust your intuition because your empathy is very very strong is what i'm feeling trust that but don't hold on to it okay so if there are things that you're picking up in the world things that you're seeing and it's now becoming your perspective let go of that you have to be able to distinguish between what is yours and what is it and you have to let go of what is it you have to let go of what is yours as well or maybe heal from it but this is a new phase for you here Taurus okay so care for yourself and others and receive the help okay you don't have to do it all by yourself okay so a lot of adventure go for it guys whatever this is that you have been um, focused on right now Focus, focus, focus on what it is that you want to bring into your life and have a good time doing it. Enjoy the month of June. That is your reading, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like this video. Comment below if any part of this resonates with you. Make sure you subscribe and hit that all notification bell. And I will see you guys for a Monday Pick a Card reading. Tune in then. I'll see you then. Many blessings to you and love and light, guys. Peace.